Hi, I'm Roger Waltzman, the Chief Medical Officer at Adaptus Therapeutics. Today I'd like to talk about how doctors decide if a clinical trial like the one for Decoy20 is a good fit for their patients. Choosing the right treatment for cancer patients involves navigating through a sea of options, and deciding to participate in a research trial is not a small decision. Even for curable cancers, a trial might offer a new treatment that's potentially more effective or has fewer side effects than existing ones. It's through these trials that we figure out which treatments work best, making patients and their doctors key players in advancing cancer care. But what happens when standard treatments no longer work? Sometimes after undergoing various therapies, a patient's cancer might develop resistance, leaving them with few options. This is another point where a trial could come into play. Determining if a patient is a good candidate for a trial involves a number of steps. First, the doctor checks if the patient's type of cancer and treatment history match the trial's requirements. While this sounds simple, research studies have detailed criteria to ensure patient safety, reviewed by both the FDA and a cancer center's institutional review board. This board, comprised of medical specialists and community advocates, makes sure only suitable patients join the trial and are monitored closely. Doctors then have a detailed discussion with the patient to make sure they understand the benefits and risks of joining the trial. Yes, it's a complex and careful process, but it's vital. It ensures that the right patients participate in the trials, helping us gather accurate data on the efficacy and safety of new treatments. Once we have enough evidence, it could lead to FDA approval, making new therapies available to more patients. Thank you for your interest, and we look forward to updating you on our journey.